What's up guys? So welcome to another video tutorial in Java pang anim nata. So in this tutorial guys, um, um, I'm going to talk about a few things. So let's do this. So I'll explain later. So click the file new project. Gawa tayo ng project natin. So if tinuro ko na to kung nilinod kayo ng past tutorials ko, so alam niyo to kung paano to gawin. Then um, let's just name it lesson six. Kung bakit simple lang. So yun. So, I'll assume guys na alam niyo na to ha, everything. In, simula dito sa tutorial na to, I'll assume na alam niyo na to anything about this cause. In the past tutorials ng mga videos ko, in-explain ko to. So, pag i na lang sa mga hindi pa. So, alam niyo na to ha, I'll assume. Okay. So, I'm going to teach you guys um, a basic stuff lang, what we call the parsing parse. So, bago muna yan, in the past tutorial doon sa type sa pagturo ko lang about data types sa, sa Java. So, hindi ko muna doon sinabi. Pasensya na. Pero, uh, idagdag ko lang na data type is string. So, sa mga C users dyan, di ba sa C, we declare um, a string. For example, string name. I mean, ganyan. Di ba? So, di ba, yan sa, sa C yan. So, then... We specify, for example, gels, di ba, ganyan, sa C. So, in Java, hindi mo na kailangan mag, mag-specify ng size, tsaka mag, ganyan, opening, closing bracket. So, you just type string, ganyan. Then, your variable name, for example, name. Um, your variable name is up to you again, then is equal to kung ano yung string. So, ganyan. Anything that is inside, anything that is inside, the, um, the open and closing double quotation marks is part of the string. So, ito lang ang, ang gusto, ko nyo, gusto kong malaman nyo. So, I'll teach you something more about strings when we talk about arrays. So, sa mga next tutorials pa yan. So, for example, um, gels, ganyan. String na siya. So, what is a string, by the way? is ano lang siya, basically a group of characters. So, di ba we said na, um, for example, letter G. Letter G is a character. A character. So, groups of, I mean, group of characters. So, mga group ng characters. So, for example, gels is guapo. Ganyan. Ha, ha, ha. So, this is a string. Mga ganyan lang. So, simple lang naman. It's just like a word, kumbaga. So, yun lang naman. Wala naman iba. So, I just want to tell you about, for example, um, for example, ganito kasi. What if kung meron tayong, for example, um, meron tayong may prefer um, name, ganyan, gels, then meron tayo naman na string, um, this, ganyan lang, describe um, handsome, so ganyan. So, we can actually, as I've said, we can actually do this na parang kinakoncatenate, print ln, name, plus, this. So, once we print this out, it's gels handsome. So, we just put your space kung gusto nyo may space. Gels handsome. So, ang nangyari lang naman dito is i-explain ko na kino-concatenate, parang pinagdikit, pinag-isang string na lang, parang ganun. So, I just want to tell you about um, a static function. Sinabi kong static kasi, as I've said, hindi mo na kailangan mag gumawa ng instance para ma magamit yung function. So, for example, ganito. Um, hindi ko na alisin yun. Ha? So, for example, meron tayong string number is equal to 1. So, is this still considered a string? Yes, kasi nasa loob siya ng open and closing single quotation mark. So, paano, there's a way, just want let, to let you know, the, meron paraan yan para kumbaga nakoconvert yan na to uh, an integer talaga. So, paano nga ba? So, let's just, for example, um, store it to uh, another variable. So, for example, integer x is equal to, you do it is, um, you type integer, if you want to, um, of course, 1 is an integer, if you want to convert it to an integer, galing sa string to an integer, you just type integer dot, then you type parse int. Ito. Ganyan. Enter yun. Then, you type the variable name ng string known. Yung pa ang parameter niya. So, then, semicolon. So, let's print out. 
and then print lin um, x x is oh pwede niyo oh, um, by the way pwede niyo niyo naman pala mag print lin kayo nang ilagay ilagay niyo lang diyan yung variable niyo kung yung variable niyo lang mismo ang gusto niyo i-print so pwede yan so once we run this di ba 1 so yan so na convert siya pagdating dito is kinonvert siya sa naging real integer na siya integer so yun lang naman guys so if you want an, um, another try, so integer, for example, integer y is equal, meron din naman na double dot parse double. So, number, again, the, yung lalagay nyo lang sa parenthesis is yung, oops, tanga-tanga, <laughs> sorry, sorry, so yun, double, then, let's just print this out, copy ko lang ito para, mas madali, then y, then, once we print that out, di ba naging 1.0 siya kasi isa double. Kung baga, sa line of code na to is string number which is equal to open and closing double quotation marks 1. Actually, it is this is a string kasi nasa loob siya ng double quotation marks open and closing. So, in this line of code, uh, parang pinars, kung baga, parang ginonvert, pinars siya into a double which is 1.0 dito, print natin so, ganun lang naman guys actually meron pa dyan na float, float, you can experiment um, different functions um, in java, so float dot parse float, so ganun so, yun lang naman guys so, wala naman akong ibang gusto sabihin, so, eto lang so, eto lang dito, about sa new variable na string, so, I'll tell you more about strings when we reach arrays so, chillax lang guys basta alam Basta importante, alam nyo kung paano mag-declare ng isang string at saka alam nyo kung ano ang string. So, it's just a group of characters. So, ganun lang naman. Words, kumbaga. So, ganun lang, ganun lang naman guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Wala naman natin akong nakalimutan. So, thanks, thanks, thanks. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.